Welcome back to Kelloland Weekend News. A Sioux Falls school that trains future truck drivers has reached an important academic mile marker. The Extra Mile CDL Academy has surpassed 100 graduates of its program that's helping fill a critical shortage of the drivers in the industry. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Perry Groton revisits the academy more than a year after it first opened to see what direction a career on the road is taking these new grads. Cody Swadis is one of the newest graduates of the Extra Mile CDL Academy. It's a learning curve, not being familiar with the bigger trucks like this, but I, it's definitely something I really, truly enjoy. Swadis delivers building materials for his job and sees having his commercial driver's license as a ticket to a brighter future. The avenues it opens up for me, being able to advance further in my, my job I have now, or even open up other avenues elsewhere if that were to be the case. The cap's tight and want to make sure if it's between add and full. Okay. Go ahead and give it a shot. All right. Extra Mile offers intensive one-on-one -on -one training where the student can earn their commercial driver's license in just seven days. They show up with a permit and, and we just immediately we just start. So it's like boot camp. Jaden Anderson knows all about boot camps. He served in the Marines before earning his CDL at the Academy last year. Just being behind the wheel and Feeling real heavy while you're driving down the road, it's like, it's nothing, nothing like it. It's really quite exhilarating. Anderson says he's more of a hands-on learner than a by-the-book person. I have got more of like a, a, you'd say, a South Dakota brain. So John adjusted to me and taught me exactly how uh, he knew I would learn best, and I picked it up really quick. The Academy rents space from K&J Trucking here in Sioux Falls. The two are separate companies, but having them both under the same roof has been a big benefit. There's a shop right here. So just last week we had a, uh, a valve go out on a training truck. We got it fixed within hours. Um, otherwise, we'd have to you know, call somebody to come in and, and fix it. K&J has even hired a handful of Academy graduates. There's always a need. Uh, Right now, is it as bad as it was in 2020? No, uh, we're doing a little bit better. A little bit better doesn't mean good. <laughs> so it, there's always a huge need. Turnover is always an issue in the trucking industry. Skipper says sometimes new hires from the academy discover they're not cut out to be long haul drivers, preferring shorter routes so they can spend more time at home. I just got married, baby on the way. So I definitely want to be more of a family man now not so much chasing money. The Academy has served as a statewide pipeline to the trucking industry since its opening in the fall of 2022. We looked at how many we graduated, how many we've, you know, how many students we've had. It's been about 16.7% uh, of all the new CDLs in the whole state. Extra Mile expects enrollment to start filling up heading into the spring and remaining full through the rest of the year. For many of those incoming students, a climb up the corporate ladder starts with a climb into the cab and a journey on the open road. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Perry Groton. K&J Trucking is undergoing a large remodeling project that's given the Extra Mile Academy more indoor space for training when the weather's bad outside. If you're interested in pursuing a commercial driver's license, we have a link to the Academy's website on this story at kelloland.com.